Hey! Congrats, Rain. Last exam passed. Everything is awesome! Brace those days and those moments when everything is awesome. We'll forget them. Those moments that keep us going sometimes, right? Melonhead, welcome. Last day of school is today. What I'm talking about. I had the impression everybody was already off school, but I've been told otherwise now. Johnny Fontana, Privet, welcome back. How are you? Tucson. So, we've got the original game, Hearts of Stone, Blood and Wine. I have not heard all the music in Blood and Wine yet. What's your favorite? Your favorite music in The Witcher? Can't say what mine is, so the question's not fair. But what, um, what's your favorite? If you've got one. A piece, a place. I loved the creepy rhyme. Oh, look, they're friendly. I like friendly. Friendly's good. I like the creepy rhymes in Hearts of Stone. I like all the music in Blood and Wine. The new Gwent and new combat music, so good. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes, where is your boss? Wound doesn't look good. Patch that up quick if I were you, before it starts festering. If I needed medical advice, I'd have called for a healer. And you look like none such, not even a quack. Well, I'm a quack. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted a witcher to help you, you should have thought twice about being rude. Forgive me. The pain's so blasted bad, it's darkened my mood. A foulness has made its lair in the grotto. I barely escaped with my life. I've been eyeing the cave for a storehouse quite some time. Would you look inside? Rain, uh, is there a curfew where you are? Is that what you mean by um, going out for ice cream at night? Is there a curfew? I know there are there are some cities here in the U.S. with curfews, and there are probably more places than I wholly aware of that have similar things in place. See what, what it sounds do. like. Wait here, and you need to clean that wound. Trust me. Find that strange to think about curfews. Coming. Oh, hi! Is that a centipede, maybe? thing dropped quick. Like three hits, four hits, and it died. <sighs> Edge, are you getting tired of it a little bit? Uh, you're talking about the music? Which? You mean this in the background right now? I'm trying to place your phonetics. 
The Uwayo is. You mean this? I must be what you mean, huh? I don't mind it. Then again, I could listen to Quiet do her thing in Phantom Pain forever. So, I guess I'm a sucker. Wonder what happened. Blood smeared diary. Black magic doll. Wine and ashes. Ritual performed here. Holy Lebiota must have given me a kindly wink today. Or perhaps it was mere chance and circumstance. The important thing is I've found a cave that will make a perfect wine cellar. Production's been going wonderfully the last few seasons and lack of storage space has become a pressing issue. I could have hired men to dig a cellar, but I'd hate to slow work on barreling the grapes. And at any rate, no dugout cellar can match a limestone cavern. The one I found is perfect spacious and not at all overly damp, and I came across it thoroughly by accident while strolling among the rocks. My foot slipped into a crevasse, and when I tugged it free a few stones fell down into it. I listened for a long while before I heard them hit the bottom. I then walked around the entire slope until I found an entrance. Tomorrow we will begin turning it into a storehouse and transferring the barrels. Later entry, consisting of, a hurried, of hurriedly scrawled entries. Monsters in cave, huge centipedes, men barely escaped. We'll try to go again, recover what we can, must block off all entrances. Hope no one else ever stumbles into that accursed cave. Fair enough, Edge. You need the clarity of the cues in the game and the distractions of some of the music and background noise does not, uh, not help you out there. Squirrel, I'll be checking out the new Zelda. I picked up Twilight Princess HD. I've asked once or twice on stream and there's only been a little flurry of feedback. Would anyone want to do? It would take a week. We'd have to spend, I think, a week on Twilight Princess HD, but I did pick it up. Y'all done in here. Before we go down there, let's get a quick save. Geralt, let it go. Let it go, Geralt, let it go. Good, good man, thank you. Thank you. Well, Entropic, I'll tell you what, get uh, get your Wii U, don't wait for Zelda to come out, and we'll play some uh, Mario Kart. We haven't played Mario Kart in a couple months, I'd love to get back into that. I was just learning how to play properly and drift properly in that game when, um, ah, we kind of stopped playing. to where it spawned. Heck yeah. Nick, we were, um... Handful of us were starting to play it. Didn't go anywhere, but it still could. That's when I played it in Tropic on the SNES. My sister and I played it. It was one of the only games we played together. That was fun. Yep. 
Doc, you're back. Welcome back. Hermé, it's weird seeing Geralt in a shirt. Now that you're playing, that's... I keep hearing that. It'd be very weird for me. Not if I were watching someone else, I don't think, but if I were playing and put on armor every time I do, for whatever reason, however brief, it's strange. Part of why it's cool to be back uh, in The Witcher, Laughing Fool, because so many people discovered this channel and came to join us all here because of The Witcher. The Witcher helped bring us all together. For all the awesome people here, it's, it, it may even be a little bit weighted for how many people came in during The Witcher. Ah, let me is back on chat only. Must be having internet troubles. Oh, it's my bum if I'm ready to blow. Huh? Scars are pretty good looking. So, will you see what I miss in my storehouse? Done that already. Ran into a few giant centipedes. Ah, uh, uh, And how am I to prevent them from crawling back in? Don't know. I kill monsters. Don't predict the future. You needn't be cross, Witcher. You shall get a good price on all my goods. In gratitude. Come back in two days' time. You will see the fine storehouse I've made. I'm off. See you later. Kill monsters, I don't predict the future. I had to add that one. A good quote. There are no good lists that I have found of dialogue and quotes from Blood and Wine yet online. In fact, it's still hard to find for any of The Witcher. Find the same 7, 8, 10, 15 quotes, but the game has hundreds of awesome lines of dialogue. Tens of thousands of lines of dialogue, but so many are classic. And you only see the same, however many. Not enough. There are not enough that are findable online. Always this with the comeback. Come back tomorrow. We'll pay it tomorrow. Kind of a shame that Corvo Bianco will never be upgraded. Whatever it could be, it won't be. It'll get patched, but we might be done with the game by the time it gets patched. Forget to see that. Earn and face the strange. Alright, let's go find out what the mutations are about. I was not shunning them. Not shunning them. But I've been asked for a week now. About the mutations, and I think they're tied to this quest. Is that one right? It was a warm summer evening, or perhaps a cool yet sunny morning. The weather and time are of no import. What matters is the day. That day, Geralt received a letter from Yennefer, who informed him about a most unusual discovery she had recently made. He'd found mention of research conducted by a Professor Moreau on Witcher mutations. It seemed this professor's workshop could be found in Tucson. Geralt, realizing the importance of this discovery, decided to find this laboratory. The first step would be to find the professor's journal, which according to Yen, had been buried with him. That's pretty funny. You got timed out in the Nintendo channel because you wrote Savage Link through a stick at a poor crab. Yeah, there's no... It's, Link would never be violent. Can't be. Can't, uh... Can't pin any violence on him. Not allowed in Nintendo. Instead of backtracking, let's go through a few new locations. End up at the trading post.
Angry trolls, but I like trolls. I want to fight trolls. <laughs> rabbit trolls. Ah, uh, they are rabbit. They're no cure for rabies. For rock, for rock troll rabies. I love witcher trolls. Yes, he turned. I thought he was. I thought he was gonna turn to face the strange. <laughs> he did. He finally did. Rock troll. slow pace with a with a troll when they wind up their rock you can interrupt them when they wind up their attacks any of their attacks you can interrupt them you attack twice too fast and your second blow will bounce off of their defenses and stagger you but you wait an extra one second one second makes all the difference and then you can keep going back in for an attack and stagger and stagger and stagger stick and move I have finally learned some things about trolls and elementals those first 200 hours i had some brutal battles and even with all the damage uh, multipliers being so unfair a lot of the problems were about not understanding their attacks no oh. hindsight it seems simpler than it did at the time now if you could just parry Mustaches, what's happening? Welcome, welcome. You know, S7 was saying he missed his uh, his his 6 a.m. troll old old this morning. Brother! Enough of this hesitation, this fretting, these feelings of guilt. Liam Coronata pays you practically nothing, and you've got a family to feed. 
But do as I say, load up a cart with barrels of that new spiced wine and in the night, quiet as a mouse, haul it away from the estate. Head northwest, and when you cross the stream, you'll find men waiting for you. Give them the barrels. They must be desperate to get this wine, because merely as down payment, they've handed me a pleasantly heavy pouch. Just be careful, because a pair of those vile rock trolls in the Bleasure Valley. How trolls end up there, you ask? They were imported. For the tourney, for knights to battle, for the crowd's amusement. Thing is, they fled the transport and began slaughtering their way across the land. B.S. Hide the share of the down payment I've sent. Because if someone finds you with that kind of coin, they'll start asking questions and our business will end quicker than it began. P.P.S. My advice? Bury it in a pile of dung. No one will look there. In a bit, Jack. Bury it in a pile of dung. I must have already looted this pile of dung. Or was it on the troll? Yay! I have a habit of letting trolls slide in the Witcher world. So having some rabid trolls, I give you no choice but to fight. It's kind of fun. It's an opportunity to fight trolls where I would spare them at every other opportunity. Gee, you found a good key to bind dodge onto. Keyboard left alt wasn't working. Is that the default dodge? I've only played with a controller. I've not played with the keyboard and mouse. What did you bind it to? Alt. Hmm. Just don't enjoy keyboard and mouse gameplay anymore. I did it for so many years and I don't enjoy it anymore. It seems unnatural. Message coming in. W A S D? Yeah, I mean, so weird. Terry, thank you for the host. Outrun my gun. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. I mean, it's cool if you love it. I, I just don't understand it anymore. I did it for so many years, and looking back on it, that is not someone yelling help. That's a peacock, if you heard that cry for help. Peacock. There was a peacock crying for help. You cannot save your game. So you kill these bandits. I scared you. Oh, nice, Geralt. Just swing and a whiff. of the five chivalric virtues. Chivalric virtues. Those sound fancy. Sixty horses fear level. What do we have on? We've got some cool looking ones. Also sixty. Knight Errant's blinders. Eau Claire Saddlebags is one ten. I have on. Zeracanian. We got better saddlebags. When did we get better saddlebags? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, oh, oh. Oh. What those look like? Lots of dye. Plums, potatoes, silver, and copper. Oh, it's a good take. <laughs> this is Roach of the Lake. I think Roach just came out of the lake. Hmm. Hmm. I think I like the silver better. Although this does kind of go with the saddlebags. 
and the uh, saddle. Saddle in particular. Like the new blinders are gold. Could look cool. I think they do look cool. I'm not sure if I like them better than the silver. I have a, like a fondness for silver, but extra carry weight. Ah. Oh, we got respawn, and they bugged. We got a level one respawn. Hold on. I'm boxing. Circle him. You're all alone, dude. You're all alone. Sucks to be you. Take it easy. What book Geralt is like. A level 70 witcher beating level 1 bandits. Ah, uh, more? Okay, well then... Hold on. Where's my torch? Oh, still gotta get the cross, bro. <laughs> Boom! Come on, man. I'm trying to have a little party here. Look at the sunset. Fighting, fighting to that light. Hey, you can put your torch away. We got plenty of plenty of light left. Oh. There's the sun. There's the sun. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Geralt, for the extra demonstration. You can play as a shirtless Link. I saw your tweets. Like, they sounded, uh... Sounded like it was not a good conference. Was it? Was the Zelda good, at least? Everything else aside, was it all... Thumbs up for Zelda, I hope. Travel chest, diagram for trousers, and unfinished report. As per your orders, Philibert, we join Conrad Veidt's expedition. A truly dense fool, that one. Set out from Caravista, meaning to reach Lan Exeter on his own. And best part is, he wasn't going to do any trading along the way. That he'd made a bet with some pals that he could reach his goal in less than 80 days. His wagon was chock full of supplies. 
along with an altogether weighty trunk of Nilfgaardian florins attached to the coach box. We drank and ate all night at the pheasantry on his coin. I've still got heartburn. Didn't hesitate a moment before agreeing to let us join him on his journey. Our suggestion to pitch camp outside the city didn't raise the slightest suspicion. Here finished the job without even getting our hands dirty. But alas, Zuzin swung the hammer a bit too weakly, skull didn't crack at once, and even though that Cretan was drunk as a lord, he howled bloody murder and spooked the horses. To make things worse, they were already harnessed, so they dragged the wagon straight into the lake. We're eager to get the blazes out of here as quick as possible, because this place is crawling with those bleeding knights errant and the ducal guardsmen. But as if out of spite, the wagons got stuck in the mud. A large ink blot renders the rest of the report illegible. Hey, Jordy. She asks, um, in this zone, what level would those guys be if you didn't have upscaling on? It's a good question. I would guess 60s, maybe 70s, but with scaling, they should always be at your level, right? And instead, they sometimes go down. Talked about the bug, but... I can only guess that with the starting quest in Blood and Wine in NG Plus being 74, I think it was. Or have I gotten ahead of myself by 10 levels? Was it 64? We've leveled up a lot. I guess I don't remember anymore. Zelda stuff was good. Looks very pretty. They didn't get into any gimmicky stuff yet, motion gamepad stuff yet. Hope it stays that way. They haven't showed anything like that though. All right, Roach. Stay. How are you doing today, Jordy? Centipedes! No, not centipedes. What do we have here? Golden Oriole. You got a free day? Hmm. I like the sound of that. Where Wu says if they... If what they showed is the actual opening of the game. It really drops you in with no narrative. Sense of what's going on. Reminiscent of the first game. This is Zelda, I'm talking about Zelda. That could be good. Quit your training. It must include a unit on sn uh, snack management. Yeah, you don't want to know where he puts the stuff. Ground. 
ground splattered with blood for a few feet around. A lot of it. The blow itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. Orders on elegant stationery. Hmm, what have we got here? Tell me this time. This letter wound up here by accident. Tell me this time, and I'll skin that splotchy hide off your rump. Pick up the next batch of seedlings tomorrow from the Tesham Mutna hatchery. We need to infect another spot at Coronada, but don't be late because the team from the vineyard on the other side of the river's got the key. B. <sighs> this must be related to. There's this wine wars quest, no like cola wars. Some third parties causing problems at the vineyards. Need to find the spot the letter mentions. Then I'll find something mighty interesting behind whatever door this key opens. I don't know why it... I find myself... Not just not interested in the wine wars, but I want to stay away from it. Why? I don't have a good reason. There's just something about it that seems uninteresting. I think it's... Uh, I've, I've built it up into my head out of nothing. So maybe we'll do the wine wars. I really have no interest in helping these squabbling vineyards sabotage each other or care about a third party who's involved. It's about as interesting as uh, politics in the land. Ours or this one here. Wine wars. All of your own problems. I, I hunt monsters. I don't sabotage vineyards. I'll drink your wine about your vineyard politics. near those spore pods you got to destroy them quick or they'll pop do a lot of damage and there were about four of them next to me in the end i was going to destroy one but another one ended up rolling right next to a couple others that were being placed no heart pickups you find food items and you have to eat them to replenish health not sure if there are fairies or not, so big changes for Zelda. Ah. Rain, you hadn't heard of the Zelda series till you were about 15. You'd like to play through them. It is. It's like a part of our childhood. You're absolutely right. You should play them. I bet you enjoy them even now. Even the old ones. They're, they have charm, and they always have. Chi, I think you're right. It seems like the wine story is progressing even if I'm having nothing to do with it. Okay. That works. I believe those plants are cursed. Double check. I'm gonna go with cursed oil. Well, Hermé, I bet he'd love it. Which one are you thinking of? Twilight Princess? A HD, the remake, or something else? And Link can jump. Jump. Like free jump. I assume you mean he can sort of free jump. That's a lot of spores. Oh man, he's putting out a lot of spores. As long as you pop them, it's fine. Ah. 
They pop pretty quickly, too, so if he drops one next to you... Oh! And you miss it, or you wait, it's probably gonna do a lot of damage. You're not gonna have a chance to... turn around and attack again. It's just one? They're just one the whole time? He can jump jump. You know, like someone who can jump. I'll down a whole this was also related to the wine wars in some form. I have to forgive me not, uh, or not forgive me ignoring the quest and not engaging it and reading it and caring about it, but there are plenty of interesting quests and I just don't find that to be. Although, what happened? Sure, they're grieving, that's more interesting. Bad, but... Awful to loot that body right in front of them, wouldn't it? Not gonna do it, but look look at what we would normally just we, we take for granted in games, right? Oh look, we're clicking on everything and looting everything. Here are people mourning. They're dead. Of the option of taking whatever's on the body and nine out of ten times I wouldn't you know, wouldn't think about it. Wouldn't stop to Process the scene. Well, see, that's personal. Cold. <laughs> Cold stare, that's, that's, that's somebody's personal tragedy. And it's far more interesting than vineyards that want to take each other's business. It's the little things that that make the world seem real, not the... It's the not... She's small, but do you know any who's not heard of our wines? The little things. Good day! Main quest so far pales to me compared to the little ones. You smell that? Those are the vapors of two <laughs> Look at how the spore is uh, positioned here in death. Get a good look at it, though. Yeah, it is. Uh, Snow Owl, it's in the game. Whatever it is, it's in the game. I don't know what it is. Maybe I should move away. No, the, I don't want to say what I was just thinking. Oh, I'll, I'll say the... Uh, I saw the peasants here. See, peasant, peasant. And the peacocks make noises which sound like uh, children screaming for help. Is what it sounds like to me. Briefly, I saw peasant, thought pheasant. Thought, oh, is that... Do pheasants make that noise? No, oh, pheasants don't make that noise. We do have pheasants in uh, places I've lived. Not peacocks, but, but pheasants, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I'll get away from there, because that noise is pretty irritating. Ah! Now that you pointed it out, it's worse, though. Just... <laughs> It's still there off in the distance. Stop before everybody goes crazy. <laughs> it's okay.
You hear that noise a lot in Russian woods? Uh, do you know what it is? I hope you know what it is. <laughs> if I heard that noise in the woods and I didn't know what it was, I would be concerned. They bug, we box. Oh, he kicked him in the jaw. That was beautiful, Geralt. Kicked him in the jaw. Witchers are flexible. Yo, Jim, what's going on? You're excited for the Skyrim remaster. Did you see the schedule too? Jim, we're doing Peace Walker and then Phantom Pain again. You, were, you wanted to see more Phantom Pain, didn't you? Well, we're going back to Phantom Pain for probably a week. Mm. Me too, Terry, but you know it's probably not gonna happen. Or Witcher DLC. Why well, I wanna draw this out. That's why I'm in no rush. That's why I haven't gone back to the main story yet today. Last thing I want is to see this finished. In fact, the game plan for today is... Tell me what you think of this. Do everything but the main story. At this point, got more than 40 hours in it already. I only be halfway through the main story in the DLC. Let's do everything else. Locations, camps, nests, treasure hunts, side quests. Then let's do the main story. And that may be today, it may be tomorrow. I don't know how long it'll all take. What do you think? Twixor, you're off to work. Hey, take care, Twixor. Be well, don't work too hard. Cheers. Twixor, did you see, uh, oh, hold on, if you're still there. Did you see the end of Saturday's stream? Did you see when uh, DRK, probably confusing, Entropic, and I, there it is again. It's a, I don't want to think about that noise. It's horrible. Uh, DRK hosted, raided the stream at the end. I think uh, I think you might have missed that. I don't know if you saw on Discord. There is a there's a highlight up of it. It was um, I was zonked. I don't think I could even fully appreciate the moment when it happened, but out of nowhere, the Briamek, the bells of Beauclair, house of pleasure. Little brother, I'll be short and to the point. Feck Filbert, Philibert, Side Stick Starling, and Loth can lick my derriere. I'm on my own. Thanks to that flying silver hen, I can live like a Zeracanian Pasha. The lads are glad too, because finishing off merchants is not at all bad. As work goes, doesn't tire you much, and blood can be washed off. And what loot! Yesterday, for example, a caravan drove through full of barrels of rum and dried ham. We ever have ourselves a feast. Which is why I'm telling you, brother, ditch that brothel business and join my band of merry men. I'm sure Mum cries herself to sleep every night, thinking of her sons working in a bordello. It'll do her heart good to know I've got an eye on you. Your elder brother, Bartolomeo Martin Chachowski. Chachowski. You think that's a good plan, Kim? Awesome. Kasey, what's happening? Welcome.
closing in on the trading post. There's one more... Got the cave still, but one more undiscovered past the trading post. So let's go past. And we'll double back. Can I search for the sound and kill it? Let's find out what it is. Next time we hear it, I'm going to try and localize it and close in on it. We'll at least find out. Hear it. Where is it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Knows we're looking for it now. Whatever it is. This trading post is fucked up. Welcome to the trading post. Even got its own creepy music. Just say, I am wonderful. Well, cold stare, it's not the little chirpy birds. You know which ones we're talking about, right? Whatever it is. The screamy one. The one that sounds like microphone feedback. Get you. <laughs> wasn't that sweet, Twix, or wasn't that awesome? Would have been even cooler if, um, if if some of the the big OHN fans here happened to have been there at that moment. It didn't quite work out that way, but it was. Did that just happen? Did that just happen? And it was so late in the stream that I was I was zonked. Emotionally drained. <laughs> Not in a million years expected. Orders for Calvin. Calvin! You know I like you. Unlike the rest of this lot, you've got a good head on your shoulders. But this thing about a panther. Seriously, lad. You've adopted a diddling panther? Few of our men came back to camp with their bums so bitten they'll have to do to standing up for weeks. And the very thought of going back on patrol has them shaken so hard their seams burst. This can't go on. Heard you've even gone so daffy as to give it a name. Hobbs. Hobbs the Panther. You're completely off your nut, aren't you? Now concentrate, because I don't feel like repeating this. The lad who brought you this letter is carrying a hefty coin pouch. That's the lion's share. No bleeding pun intended of the loot from our last job. The pouch is yours. But you take that overgrown kitty somewhere out on the wilderness and slit its throat. Simple enough? For the sum you're getting from me, you'll buy yourself two pure-blooded greyhounds and we can forget the whole thing. That's me being generous. Don't make me change tax. Stragon. Antics. You've been uh, ducking out because you've been playing it too. Completely understand. And uh, you said it's the most fun you've had playing Witcher. You love the expansion. I am so glad to hear it. I've been loving it too. I've been dragging it out because who wants it to be over, right? Not I. Welcome, welcome. We're going to spend the next couple hours doing what's left of treasure hunts, side quests, contracts, and then back to the main quest line. No idea if that'll all happen today or not.
Heal. A couple haunts bases that are not cleared out. Monster Den, not cleared out. Very few locations left. Undiscovered. How about discovering them right now? Let's go down to the farm and we'll have one, two, three things. Ah, Jim, sorry, I didn't mean to miss your question. Got your whisper here. What do I think about Resident Evil 7? I didn't watch the trailer. So I haven't seen the footage. I heard that it was uh, back in a house. It was meant to be more atmospheric and was going to break with the trend that had started with Resident Evil 4, that they're going to go back to something simple and scary and atmospheric. I like the sound of that. What do you think? VR, though? VR Resident Evil? You don't like first person? Well, tough to see. It's funny you say that, Antics, because I've spent hundreds of hours in The Witcher Broke. If I ever had five, six thousand crowns to my name, I would end up getting in a fight with guards. They'd beat and rob me. And I'd be broke again, or I'd spend it on food. Since playing Blood and Wine, I've started selling a lot of things that I've saved up over the two playthroughs of The Witcher. I had a lot of crafting materials carried over, I think, from the first game. I don't think those reset, but I had hundred stacks of valuable things and alchemy, and I still do have a ton of it. With some encouragement, I finally started to sell those to any vendor that had coin that would buy them. I have a stash that is full of weapons from the first playthrough and the second. Started to sell those a little more regularly. I'm about to break 100k for the first time. I've never had this kind of coin. Kase, thank you for sharing those words. That means a lot to hear. Playing through games like this for the first time with people has made them more special to me. Sometimes harder to follow. Sometimes there it's a real compromise. It's been far more special. It's also been, um, well, if you've been here through the Witcher playthroughs, you know that sometimes I miss things in the games that I play, I miss a lot of things. I think it's a, a worthwhile trade. We're all going through these together. Some of the stuff that I miss, you can you can help me understand. It's happened many times. There's a curious comment on a Deus Ex video today I mentioned on something major, I guess, that I missed during the playthrough. People go back, watch the archives of these streams on YouTube. They go, oh my god, you missed that thing. You didn't do that thing. You have no idea. So worth it. I don't think I could go back to playing games alone. Uh, probably could. I say that. I, I mean, I probably could play games alone and still enjoy them but it has changed the entire experience for me. Or, uh, wine Wars, I'm not... Wine Wars, I was gonna go to the farm. Undiscovered locations. Wine Wars can happen when it happens. Oh, uh, making it a shared experience, talking about the game as it happens, reflecting on what you're doing while you're doing it for the first time, uh, getting feedback on it, whether it's just general or it's or it's positive, negative. Back, it um, what a way to play games! What a way to experience these tales. The 
the scene laid out in front of us here. At the turn in the road, there's a huge blood stain. Can you see that? An abandoned wagon, a body, a long, a really long blood trail. And it's still this, this picturesque scene. What's that about? Not a body. Yet. Yes. He lived. The dressings. Bandages. Where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. Doesn't look good. What? Oh, but he breathed still a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Breathed his last then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. Gods. What happened here exactly? I... I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him, dress his wounds. Then you appeared. Helping a stranger, admirable. All sounds fishy. Wasn't paying enough attention, or it doesn't sound that fishy. Wasn't he mumbling about ending to the wound before we walked up? What it seemed like. Maybe he saw us coming and it was a setup. Helping a stranger. Admirable. Wonder how much of a dick Geralt's gonna be. Stand and step away from him. What? Me? What is your grief? Don't make me say it again. That's good advice. Will you tell me what it is you seek? It's awfully to sincere. See if you were lying. You'd be covered in blood if you dealt those wounds. Just got it on your hands, though. The so guy seemed to order. be grieving from the beginning. It's gonna be. Who, who might you be? Precisely? A very suspicious Richard. person, apparently. Oh. Uh, 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 do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed you? Find out. See what we have here. Legs broken, but cause of death's the wound. Small but deep, edges unfrayed. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mm, breastplate's unusual. Dented. And it's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. I deal in these things, so... Uh, what's puzzling is... Why did he don it? Not likely to learn that from him. Now to figure out where he came from. From that house, I'm assuming, that need to investigate. Got some work to do. So... So long. Wait! I will come with you! You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna come with the Witcher. This will not go uh, well for him, but you wanna help? I say no. Hmm, so be it. But stay close, keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Extreme Cosplay is the name of the quest. Ever more intrigued. Sometimes traveling can be deadly dull. Nothing but the slow crawl of the horizon, sun beating down on your neck, and chirping of crickets. Other times, however, it can be surprisingly eventful, as a certain Gaston, a simple merchant from Toussaint, learned for himself when he happened to cross a mortally wounded man by the roadside. Though he provided aid as quickly as he could, the mysterious man soon bled to death. Right as he did, up walked the hero of my tale, Geralt. Nick for uh, NG++, no pants, fists only.
Maybe we'll Train swap the pants for a shirt. The hill, which stands silent as a grave. Must have been here he broke his legs. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property, probably, after he didn't manage to open the gate. See the blood? Up on the wall? Gate's locked from the inside. Clearly been jostled, though. Something tried to get out. <sighs> the very thought <clears throat> sends a cold wind down my back. Actually, the very thought that that door right there would stop a witcher is comical. And Geralt can climb that sort of thing easily. I guess it's been decided that he won't be climbing that today. Oh, am I still following the tracks? Is that what I didn't do enough of? I'm looking for a way in, but I seem to have missed a step. Not follow the tracks all the way. That could be what it is. Uh, Tindus, I may not have triggered enough with the tracks yet. Let me go back. Haven't examined the door properly? I don't know. Something. Tracks still. One more time. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, Tindus, we're all good. We're all good. Moderation is not an easy job. Being a moderator, really hard to know what uh, what falls where. So you always err on the on the side of purging things, timing people out. Nothing personal. Worst art ever. Yeah, worst art ever. I'll Agree with that. Servant, stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post mortem. Hey, Rick. I cannot believe Evident. this is the work of a man. It was a monster, to be sure. Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. Throats massacred. One mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Sword ceremonial. And Shea handiwork clearly. Shea. Shea. That's S-E-I-D-H-E. -E. Shea. Trying to get that in my head. It's not new in Wild Hunt. That word has been in the Witcher games for a long, long time. It's Shea. And I always forget how it's pronounced. By the way, welcome, Tindus. You're still there. Welcome, welcome. I'm not attempting to push it, Edge. Not at all. There's all this stuff to read and things to look at. <clears throat> the year 781 marked the final end of Elven rule in Tucson, the closing of an era that had lasted over one and a half thousand years. The Elves abandoned their ivory cities and left for the mountains taking with them all they could and destroying everything else. Whatever they could not take and did not manage to demolish or burn, they cursed. The last elven sovereign, Devthaf, Divathaf, Divathaf, hundreds of years old, yet fair as a youth, was defeated, 
Weeping over the slain army of his forever young brothers and sisters, he agreed to pay homage to Ludovic, first human king of Toussaint, who as, though young, was as shrunken and ugly as the night after Salvin. Putting on no end of airs and graces, Ludovic boasted, Look, the proud elf shall bow down before me and kiss my royal feet with humility. To degrade Devthaf even further, Ludovic decided the homage should take place in the elf king's barely abandoned palace. The throne on which Ludovic now boldly lounged bore still smoldering marks from the fire set by the elves who had sought to burn the whole palace down as they left. So the proud elven king bowed down before the human king and offered him a sacrifice of bread and wine, as well as his sword and shield. Spewing out merciless mockery all the while, Ludovic received this homage, then immediately ordered his guards drag Devthaf beyond the palace gates and throw him down the stairs as if he were a beggar. Witnesses claim the proud elf remained calm throughout the whole event, but when left alone, Devthaf wiped the blood off his face and vowed cruel revenge on the king, revenge that would come from stone as cold as the king's heart. Yet these ominous words bore no fruit, for in the year 782, before the homage was renewed, Devthaf drew his last breath alongside his remaining soldiers when the two Santoy decided to celebrate the anniversary of the surrender of the elven sovereign with a pogrom of non-humans on the slopes of Mount Gorgon. You survived. Oh, the extra lap around the property edge, yeah. Yep. Totally on purpose. Burn marks. Someone catch fire? Explode? Strong stench. Multiple wounds on the body. All puncture wounds, but hard to tell what caused them. Victim's human, but the attire's elven. Are you certain? How did he come by? We've so few non-humans in Tucson. Green cosplay. Oh, it was an event gone wrong, huh? Wow, all right. Fled. I'm not gonna go reread the, the document, the but... Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. Reenactment of some sort gone horribly wrong? Perhaps. Double it scorched. Wriggled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Hear the breathing. Perhaps there's no one inside after. I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. <coughs> Open up. We mean you no harm. Hey, they remain there. Who are Listen, they? I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits? It all occurred to a sudden. We were staging a scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded death. me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here and, and shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but but in the end, it, uh, it grew calm. Hey. 
Now that you've clearly explained who they are, who are you? Who are you exactly? The Durant Fosher Plamonton de Saffaran, Lord of these lands, and Chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tutor. We meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage, but something like this, why, it's a first. Hmm. Was a recreation. So acting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a specter, a Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Best thing? You gotta do it again, of course. Huh. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job. Summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least three individuals. Three of us here. And I count on your help. Damn it. Rather not expose you to danger. Who else would we bring? Don't have many uh patriots in this land. I count on your help. You know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help. But I'll understand if you turn me down. There you go, Geralt. No objections? Good. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. I will stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludovic upon the Elfin Throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enche Ruler. We must don the costumes. All must be just right. The Vethef, the Elfin King, hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne, amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. I'm not sure six is a plethora. But that'll work. May not save your game in the middle of the ritual. The Vether laid at Lutovic's feet a loaf of binnen and elfin bread, thus granting humans rule over seat yielding bats. Filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. We know it, the sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from me. Long last, the elfin king grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. And a shield? Shield? Never ever use this shield. Where, where would a shield be? Harold knows nothing of your shields. Wait, <laughs> 
It was a, uh, was that it? No, it's curved, a little bit like Iris. It confused me, it had a weird shape to it. Heal sword. Shield, huh? The Elfin King, erect in his pride, drew his blade and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. Lutofik then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to... Ah! Look! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother! Oh! Hi! Oh! Good... Good God! Um... Get a chance to see whether they were ethereal or physical or what. They sound specterish at a glance. But damn, we just got injured gravely. Suddenly. Okay. Let's let's double down. If they are humanoid, we got hangman's venom. If they are somehow specterish, we'll have that. If I can consume swallow while on the menu. If I I can't unequip it, so I also can't use it. Oh. Just hope I can back off. Went up. Ah, oh, rain! Happy birthday! I didn't catch on. Happy, happy birthday to you. Hey. Cheers. Have fun with your friends. Tell them hello from all of us. Have a kick in time. We'll see you later. Cheers. Oh, God. Looks like humanoids. It says living statues. I'm gonna go with you. Geralt! Sword. Geralt! Do you have a sword? Good. Swords are good. Swords are good. Especially for witchers. Especially, especially for witchers who are trying to kill people. Who are trying to kill the witcher. I also have to pee really badly. I was gonna run before the break, but because uh, it's not break time yet, I still might. Hey, Neo, what's happening? Get up! Just what a way to start. I'm getting zapped from all directions. This is a nasty little. Ah! Yo, with the fire and the stuff, stop! No wonder everyone here burned to a crisp. It's nasty. Nasty! Three minute comfort break. Won't need three minutes. <sighs> Let's go forward instead of backwards. Something, uh, it looked like there was. Is it really coming just from her fingertips, or is there more than one source of fire? Yeah. Might just be her. Two of them! There's two! Okay, there's two. Three? Ah! Jesus. I feel like Quen won't even help much here. Maybe it will, but... Oh, God! Ah! One home's down. Ah! You. Fuck. <laughs> That's some nasty magic. I remember the first time fighting um, Kira, which was not on purpose. It's not that I wanted to fight Kira. It's that I ended up fighting Kira. So before you go all wonky about, you attacked Kira. Yeah, things happened. But... It was crazy, all the magic that Kira was casting. Man, I just couldn't handle it. Uh, 
took me a little while to get used to those attacks. Do you have to use that sword? Probably not. It had decent damage, so I wouldn't worry about the sword itself. Hey, Gudgeon, what's up? Hey, Joe. All right, all right, I'll be right back. Let me go. Chair height. Lovely spot. Hey. Thank you. That was better. Man. <laughs> this was an Austin Powers moment. try though i can just roll away for a second there's something i want to try still requires not dying in the first two sec seconds of the fight please i think it really does didn't seem to do anything to her the effect might have applied maybe it would have stopped her casting but so does a good sword blow This is really awkward place to start. And the, the damage level is tremendous. One or two hits coming from multiple sources, and they're not coming from her hands. She casts from her hands, but the actual damage comes from the environment. Like she casts, and then the fire goes like this. It's making me think of Vader and Luke in Cloud City. Vader just starts throwing things from the environment at Luke, and Luke doesn't know what he's doing, and Luke swings this way, and something hits him from that side, and then Luke swings that way, and something hits him from that side. That's what that feels like. Where's it coming from next? Oh my god. This way. No, that way. It'd be a nasty little fight, even though I, I think I did all right the first time. A little better than, um, done since. Geralt's stuck! Geralt! What was this? Did you see that? You had to have had your eyes on it. It only lasted two seconds, but Geralt was stuck in, um, uh, mannequin pose at that time. What a spawn point. What a spawn point. Witcher should never be in this much trouble. Should always have an opportunity to prepare a little better than that! Oh! Ooh, stop! 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 <laughs> mm. Thanks, Entropot. I totally don't feel better at all. Failure is the mother of all success. Right now, I'm just feeling the failure. Be nice if this turned into success.
Maybe I'm going about this backwards. Oh! Gerald! Who doesn't learn? I don't learn. They're learning just fine. They don't even need to learn. They got my number. They don't need to learn shit. They just need to keep doing what they're doing. I was not trying to roll and switch targets. When I'm, when you don't fight with target lock, it's easy to accidentally switch targets. That's not to say that target lock is better. It's different. I, I prefer not using target lock but i'll do that a lot if you don't have the camera actually focusing you on your target it's really easy to uh to roll into a different set of mobs lose that focus you have even without target lock it will stay semi-locked on an enemy but it'll switch freely depending on your camera and positioning Run, 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 run. Geralt, run! The directionality of these casts is so evil. Holy shit. No! At least I killed one of them. What was that loading screen message about grave hags? You can cut off a grave hag something, something, something. Spear right through the back. tongue and they won't be able to poison you sweet i like that parry to cut off the tongue and they won't be able to poison you oh bad <laughs> Bad, 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 bad. The two women, the living statues. See the fireballs in her hand? Living statue. Plus she has a heavy duty guard. Ooh. And the terrain here is not the most helpful thing in the world. Trees, it's things for Geralt to get stuck on everywhere. And Geralt gets stuck at the... on anything. But not being able to track the origin of the spells... Like, they'll... they'll how are you supposed to dodge something that spawns... I axied her once, uh, make her turn on the others. Oh, I haven't beefed up my axie that much. Squirrel, I don't have signs like that. I don't have any proper signage. I have no second tier signs. The only sign I have slotted is axie, and that's just first tier for conversation stuff. It, uh, yeah, I don't have that power. I guess I could re-equip Iris, though. Maybe get some instant kills. Try and put Iris to use here. I don't know if it's required that we use the ceremonial blade that got this whole party started. Oh, 
just gonna take a little RNG and, and just some common focus and luck. Seems like a really nasty look. Let me swap out Iris. I won't be able to save though. One of the fresh frustrations with changing anything in a fight like this, and you have a spawn point like that, is you cannot prepare for the fight and then switch, uh, and then save, so that you don't have to do it every time. If I switch Iris, that's cool, but I'm almost dead. If I don't live through this, um, oh, come on, get out of the menu and dodge. Get your sword out, he's dead. So now I have to re-equip Iris, if I wanna use it. This is an ugly save spot right here. Super ugly save spot. Cut scened into a cluster. So I don't think I'm going to worry about Iris. I just want to get moving. Close in on these living statues. I'm fine with using Quen, but it just gets... The Quen doesn't last. I'd rather take the extra half second it takes to apply Quen to get an extra blow in. And hopefully I can deal with these knights. The knights aren't even the problem. They've killed me, but it's these crazy living statues, these witches. A cool quest. Fight's kicking my ass, but it seems like a really cool quest. Osplay quest. Maybe I can learn. Maybe I can learn to avoid their attacks. Maybe there is more reason to it than it looks. I'm gonna keep rolling. Go for single attacks. Reapply Quen. Keep rolling. Oh, not the extra, not the knights with the spears. I don't need that shit right now. Okay. Not good. Jesus. Rolling is slow. Rolling prevents stamina regen. Rolling, if you can't, you get caught and roll, 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 roll. This is not Assassins of Kings. You cannot just roll to avoid everything to no end. Hmm. Huh? There's one right next to me. Stop. Right when, <laughs> right when it spawns. Unless you can warp out of there. Come on, let's see if I can whirl her to death. Okay, what? I did whirl her to death. I did whirl her to death. What's up, Horst? How you doing? Oh God! This hurts. <laughs> this hurts so bad. Let me tell you. Stop! No, just stop with your, stop with the things and the, you dead stuff. Uh, nothing. Edge. I can't do anything at a distance. Other witchers can. I cannot. I've got nothing to use at a distance. You could pick your teeth with my crossbow, so. Uh, Tindis, is there any way to just avoid them? No, this looks like a forced fight. I, I highly doubt we can run away from this fight. I've got to kill them. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Whether we're here for two more minutes or two more hours, just let it play out. Don't worry about it. If I have to die a hundred more times here, I'll die a hundred more times, and at some point we'll be we'll be past it. That's Let dense. it play out. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, not fine exactly, but it will play out. It's an evil little save spot here. If I could be in the corner and have a moment to prep, switch swords, put on oil, save my game, get my composure, whatever, it would change the dynamic of this fight tremendously. Being right there at the start is really not cool. like Kira's evil cousin, the fire mage. Kira likes lightning. These ladies are all about the fire. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. 
so much stuff to get stuck on. Oh. oh, I can change swords. Sea Star, I don't. It's not that I need a safe spot to change swords. All I have to do is go to the menu. I can change it mid combat. I just don't want to change it every time. It's going to be a momentum breaker. Not that I have much momentum, but I want to get into the fight, get used to the fight. Learn to dodge the attacks, not lose half health after making one attack. Doesn't matter if I come over here to heal, they'll close in and it will ensue. Total slaughter. I feel like aggressive, aggressive, aggressive is the only way this is gonna happen. Every time I hit the ladies, it seems I get shocked. Not every time. Not every time. But I know what you're talking about. There's a stagger that happens when I continue to attack them. Let me not attack for a minute here. Let me just see if I can learn to avoid what they're doing. But now they're gonna be all passive? What is this? What is this nonsense? Okay, hold on. One of them's bleeding. Not passive anymore. Now they're being strangely passive again. Reverse psychology? What's up here? By not attacking, I'm getting more opportunities to attack. Not good. Doesn't take much to die here. Correct. Tendis, thank you. I do not want to know the way. Tendis says, I know a way, but I can't backseat. You are correct. Do not say. I'd rather do it the hard way and find out later what I didn't figure out. Far more interesting than being told. <laughs> Curious to see what an Irdin would do to this group. The, the base Irdin. It's not a fancy Irdin. Not the cool kind. It's the basic kind. Yeah, it could be, but uh, Tigzar, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. That's one thing that occurred to me. Possibility. Yeah. It also occurred to me that if I could have the opportunity without being spammed with fireballs, I might try to take out the guard. Ugh. But the whole not getting spammed by fireballs thing is, it, it's like... <sighs> they start going. Look in a chat. Yeah. Where'd she go? She was right there. This is the worst world ever. Just, yeah, please. I'm gonna take her out with the whirl. We're gonna take her out with the whirl, then we're going for her friend. I'm gonna dodge left and then whirl. That's not a dodge! Damn it, girl! So much for whirling. 
Carol has to be in combat before the jump will become a dodge. And as you can see, we spawn in combat. And yet Geralt didn't, didn't act like he was in combat. Come on. Dodge left. Dodge left. That way. Whirl. Whirly girl. Come on. Oh, and then, of course, she moves. She needs to die. Die. One of them's dead. Okay. Hold on. One's dead. Best chance we've had yet. Food. Get me away from those stupid guards. Now we've got one set of fireballs. Get away, Quinn. Shit. No, we cannot wait for her to do this. We cannot wait for her. Oh god. No! Oh god, these stupid fucking fireballs. And, uh, no! She's not dead! Oh god, she's not dead. Please tell me she bled out. No! Fuck you guys! Is she dead? I think she's dead. The witch is dead! The witch is dead! Focus. Focus. Oh my god. The witch is dead. Spear wielders still scare the shit out of me, by the way. Most of that's from Dark Souls. But, um... Spear wielders tend to get the better of me. And I don't want them to. But they terrify me. To this day. By what witchcraft? I don't know, but it was crazy. Dunno. Specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them? Not so much. I... I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one defector. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. This defector was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet, he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethev had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such. Columns activated with words said in homage. Columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Pshh. Time for me to go. I should go. No, seriously. You're gonna talk humans above elves? You're not, not from better. what I've seen. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it. But you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Mm -mm. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this. Reward. Farewell. Definitely break time. Your aliens, how are you doing? That fight was intense. So, um, backing up a little bit. 
<laughs> your opinion is wrong and you should feel bad what was um what was a better way to deal with that tindus if you're still there or anyone who has uh had a good strategy for that fight yeah perihelion still haven't gotten back to the main quest still not in any rush Thank you, Hermé. Can I sell that elven sword now? I'm sure I could, and I'll at least re-equip Iris for now. Elven sword is not bad. Not fancy. So, Chi, you had some level 27 monsters at a nest. When you rode into it, you moved away about 100 units to meditate, and when you came back and they were level 2. I don't know if it's the meditating... Sometimes it seems like dying, loading a save, when it respawns the world state, for whatever reasons. Seems to have trouble loading the correct enemy levels sometimes, and different things will trigger it to reload those enemy levels. It's not just one thing, but there's at least a few things that can. Yeah, DJ Kikisa, I'm um, pretty sure you can you can post links whenever that has come up. Playgwent.com is where you can sign up for the Witcher Gwent game, uh, beta for the Witcher Gwent game. Team Bossy, what you did was kept running back and forth in the alley, since the witches can't attack you from a certain distance, so you drew out the guy with the swords and killed him before the witches. That makes sense, but is that really so, that they can't attack you from a certain distance, and they didn't close in? Or did you just kill them fast enough before they closed in? Kill the guards before the witches closed in. Zendis, you could have actually avoided the whole fo uh, fight by going up the stairs to the door. Nice, it skips the fighting. Awesome. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Yeah, Perihelion's it. We realize it's a bug in the upscaling, but um, with no fix in place yet, we're probably going to go through the rest of the DLC before they do fix it. Likewise, a quest that would be cool to finish, we're not going to be able to finish because they will probably patch it uh, after we're done. And that is... No place like home. We won't be able to restore Corvo Bianco because two of the refurbishments are bugged and won't complete. Okay, break time. I'll be back in about 10 minutes. We'll decide what to do next. It's not going to be the main quest quite yet. We've got plenty of other things to do. Hold that thought, Perihelions. We'll pick a quest really soon. See you all in a few minutes.